Scientist Log, October 23rd, 1991. Since the horrific loss of my arm, I have finished completion of the nano potion and believe that it will undoubtedly grow me a robotic arm. My test subject, Jerry, experienced a slight shift in hormone production, but I don't think that will happen to me tomorrow. May God have mercy on my soul. Cross-stitching Steve shall stitch again. alarm into playing the veterans ball. Sound like crap! You know it'd be great if our freaking lead singer Steve would show up for once. Sorry guys. Sorry. You only missed the entire practice. Yeah, sorry. I was playing Zelda. I lost track of time. Steve, if we're ever gonna beat Rock Alarm and play the veterans ball, that means you have to be here on time. I beat level seven. What? How did you do that? Do I need to remind you guys? The Veterans Ball is tomorrow. Rock Alarm, the best band at Middlebrook High, is going to be there. Yeah, I think we got it. <sighs> look, when I look at us, I don't see four ordinary guys. I see a band. I see a band with courage and prestige. But most of all, I see a band that can beat Rock Alarm and play the Veterans Ball. Yeah, but uh, did that have anything to do with fairies? <sighs> Forget it. Forget it. I don't know why I waste my time. Marty, come on. No! This practice is over! Ow! Fudge. Happens every time we get a Democrat in office, Mom. The mud humpers and lawn fairies come out of their comas. And hard-working Americans, like myself, get laid off. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. What's up, dude? Your father's waiting for you downstairs. What do you think he does down there, anyway? I mean, he's always down there, you know? He's doing science projects, Chad. Well, that sounds pretty healthy to me. I don't think Dad suffers from any kind of psychosis, do you, Mom? That's enough, Chadwick. Your father does very important work. For example, he's making Steve an acne potion. Steve doesn't even have acne. Yeah, I do! The only pimple you got is between your legs, midget. Alright, you 
two out of my kitchen. Undoubtedly my finest moment. My hands were so swift and disciplined. The stitching is so exact. It was truly a triumph. Well, it's finally done. My acne potion? No, my nano potion. If this sucker works, no man's gonna have his arm back. What about my acne potion? Oh, what about my arm? Yeah, I need it tonight. I have a date. It's almost ready. I just need to run a few more tests on Jerry. Jerry just knows being a lab specimen, doesn't he? I have to go pick up Cassandra. I'll see you later, Dad. You know, if Steve doesn't take care of his acne, we're gonna have to get a new lead singer who knows his way around a clear skin pad. We're never gonna be rock along with hemorrhoid face up there singing lead. What the hell's taking him so long? Steve's just late for everything. Yeah, like when he was the last one at Middlebrook to get his pubes. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Hey. Thanks for driving us, Mart. As soon as I get my license, we'll go road tripping into Ontario. I don't want to go to Ontario. Oh shit, it's Rock Alarm! Oh, it's Hot Deb! Look at that ass! Oh, too bad you got Cassandra, man. So we could totally tag team that cooch. <laughs> yeah, I hear a prom dress is backless. Oh! She's so ripe! I'm dribbling over here. All right, Marty. No, seriously, I got a boner, man. Oh, it's not fair. I'm in a band. Why can't I get the hot chick? You girls got a staring problem? No. Yep, forget it. Forget it. Save it for the veterans ball. See you boys tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see ya. That was real gay. I'll see you homos later. It's all gonna change tomorrow, man. We'll find out who's a boy and who's a man. You're gonna do something about that Agni. I thought you were going to take care of that acne. Honey, God, is it that bad? I just want you to look good up on stage. Look, Sandra, about the veteran's benefit, I don't want you getting your little hopes up or anything about me singing. Because... Well, it's, it's just that I think it'd be a better idea if you and I just danced and we let another band play. But I told all my friends that my boyfriend was playing at the one You promise you have to. Well, to do that, we're gonna have to beat Rock Alarm. Rock Alarm? You never told me Rock Alarm was auditioning. Played Homecoming, didn't they? Yeah, but let's get real here, Steve. Nobody can beat Rock Alarm. That takes some sort of Halloween miracle. And you, you don't have a prayer. All you have is acting. You guys, Dr. Crunk just invented some kind of crazy weather controlling machine that's just screwing up the weather in insane ways that don't make sense. 
so now the weather seems out of sorts from day to day and not, you know, particular to its season. Why do they still have their Christmas decorations up? It's almost Halloween. Anyways, it's crazy. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. A zit factory. Man. Goodbye, pizza face. What the f- I'm a robot! Oh my god! Yeah! Oh my god! I got a robotic mind to calculate the rhymes that come busting out like an ultrasonic shot. Besides, I'm siliconic drunk with a hard drive and new bionic funk. I'm gonna override, rise up and transform to the beach, y'all, in a positronic storm. You see the new life, it's now digital cyber sweet. From the head, yo, to nanotronic feet, y'all watch my legs. They'll go turbo to the cybertronic inferno. What's up, P-Trains? You took the wrong potion, son. By the looks of it, Dad, I took the right potion. I'll catch you parental units later, Tron. Damn, Damn. Yeah. Waiting while I'm processing the information because I'm the gigabyte king downloading like an optical spot. We've got something here, Carl. So I'm Liam Manos playing Zelda. Steve here yet? Of course not. Hope he took care of his acne, it's so gross. Thanks guys, that was great. The Rush 92! Well, it looks like we'll be ending a little early this year since we're one band short. Rock along!
I knew Steve would let us down. What is that noise? Yeah, yeah. Try it one more time now. In the his hell. Holy shit. Oh, in the his hell. Yeah. <clears throat> you see me walking? You want a piece of me? I'm a robot, that's as plain as can be. But are you hungry for what I'm packing deep in my circle? Holy crap, boss, Steve's a robot! Why is he rapping? Why? Don't take a step back when you're on the right track. I'm an android, not Sigmund Freud. I got no degree, I'm just all you see. I'm a DJ, but not kid and play. All I got in stock is just all you need. You see me walking? That bitch. I'm a robot, that's as plain as can be. But are you hungry for what I'm packing deep? In my circuits is a size 53. Yeah, yeah, that's me. The metal mind can't rewind. Don't take a step back when you're on the right track. I'm a Let's go, Dad. I got no degree. I'm just all you see. I'm a DJ. I'm not getting play. All I got in stock is just all you need. But are you hungry? Phase one of world domination complete. Oh yeah. Rock Alarm didn't have a prayer. What were they supposed to do? Outrap me? Nobody can outrap Teen Bot. You rock, Teen Bot! I think we should go on tour. So we spread like disease. So the only way that Steve Chesternut could be rocking on was by turning into a robot? Sounds kind of lame. You fags. Hey. So we were thinking about going on tour. Maybe Rock Alarm can be our opening act. <laughs> if you would like to wax my effing b-hole. Let's go, Deb. See you guys at the Veterans Ball. From the stage. Did you get a good enough look, Steve? You rappers are such pigs. Sandra, wait. Man, some chicks just don't like being objectified. You're no kidding. We'll curl up her stinking craw and died. Sandra, come on. I, I was just looking. That's just it, Steve. You've changed since you've become a rapper. Already? It just happened today. I don't date rappers. Well, if you don't, I know someone who will. Steve better grease up his pole tonight. Looks like he's gonna be stabbing a little clam. <laughs> You know, Mom, if you met her, you would not think she was 13. She's got a little maturing to do, you know, about like growing up. Yeah, it's nothing that a baby can't cure. Just imagine. I'm so proud. You, a grandmother. Think about it. You wanted to talk to me? What's on your mind, girl? I just spent three hours trying to get the oil stains off this floor. It's true, dude. I watched her. Can we have a minute alone, Chad? Yeah, yeah, sure. I gotta go to the Tom Motel anyway. Thank you. So what do you want me to do about it? I want my son back. No way, Mom. I can rap now. I can rap real good. You could always rap, Stephen. I've never told you this, but before your father lost his arm at the Mayo Clinic dirt bike fundraising rally, he used to scratch records. Steven, you have hip-hop pumping through your veins. Don't you see? You could always rap. You just needed to believe in yourself. Now come here and give your mom a hug. I love you, Mom. I love you so much. Mom? Did, did, I, did I just kill you, Mom? Mom, are you dead? God! No! It seems to be the ruckus. 
No. Whoa. Well, I was hugging her and okay. I squeezed this is her. Okay. I think she might be dead. And um, I don't know. My, I'll take care of it, Junior. I don't know what to do, Dad. Why don't you make some square tarts or something? But, Dad, I just killed Mom. I think she might be dead. I have won four science fairs in a row, Junior. I think I can handle this. Well, if you think you got it, I'd just let you... you know. Holy macaroni. You must have arms like a tank. Nirvana around here. Hey, Steve. Whoa! Hey, Mark. Why the long face? Listen, I don't want to be teen bot anymore. Steve, what are you talking about? How are you going to rap at the Veterans Ball if you're not teen bot? I don't need teen bot to rap. I can do it on my own. No, you can't. Not the Steve I remember. Do I need to remind you? You sucked. Team Bot was the best thing that ever happened to you. In fact, it's the only thing that's ever happened to you. What about Deb? She used to hate you. Everyone did. You were such a dork. Yeah, maybe I am jumping the gun. Look, Steve, if it were me who had turned into a robot instead of you, you know what I'd do? I'd listen to your old friend Marty. Thanks for setting me straight, Mark. Anything for the new Steve. Hey, I think Roadhouse is on USA tonight. You up for a little kung fu action? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll throw in a little titty this time. All right, I guess so. You got me. That's the Steve I remember. <laughs> Get in here. <laughs> You see, Mom, there's two things you're never going to see me do. Drink light beer and wear condoms. End of story. What's up, dude? Mom! You're all right! She's all right. She's but freaking ugly. What are you doing, anyway? You make me some muffins? Muffins! Oh my god, Mom! No! What are you doing? Mom, why are you biting him? What she's doing, man. Oh, you wanna knock that off, honey? This is all my fault. What have I done? Nothing. Go play with Marty. Dad, she's feasting on his scalp. You see, son, when your mother and I brought you into this world, I knew that on your own you could never be anything but a loser. 
But your mother, with her pie-in-the-sky fantasies, she believed in you. So, you've got to ask yourself a question. Do you want your mother's death to be in vain? And what about your brother? Do you think he wants to see the old Steve-O? As Team Bot, the world is your oyster. Without him, you're a slacker with a skateboard. What is this, the DMV? Let's go. Come on, knock it off, honey. What do you think this is, a pancake breakfast? Let go. Let go, honey. Come on, knock it off. Dad? Oh, ah, uh, Junior, I've got some bad news. Jerry's dead. I know it's hard, but there's nothing I can do. I need the anti-nano potion, Dad. Your brother's gonna be fine, if that's what this is all about. No, Dad, I mean it. I want to be me again. No one's gonna be happy to see the old Steve. You're gonna disappoint your school friends. I don't care, Dad. It was Mom's last wish before I hugged her to death. Well, I see there's no sense in arguing. I'm going to give you the anti-nano potion. But, before I do, I want you to think about two things. Your friends and science. Don't be so selfish. I'll keep it in mind. Thanks, Dad. Junior, I've got high expectations for you. Especially now that you're a robot. So, don't take that potion. I'm going to take the potion, Dad. Then you're going to want to take this potion, because I lied. That's Kool-Aid. All right, fine. Take it. All right, team bot, yeah! Let's just do it. When I was little, there was nothing to do. I was different, but no one understood.
Shut up! Hey man, what's new? A lot of stuff I just got up. Cool. Just uh, waiting for that package to come. Boss, I'll stay with ya. So what do you think it'll be this time? That lampshade was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a big one. It's always good to have a spare. Yep, gotta keep the fuel pumping in the back burners. When did the last one get here? A half hour ago. You think this one will get here earlier? Did you get it? Probator? The hell's that? Maybe it's a lamp. You know, for the lampshade last month. Ah, it's a drink mixer. No, it says it's a probator. You see, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's one of them old school tasers. No, it's a probator. Does it take batteries? What the hell's a probator? And what the hell should I do with it? Once I figure it all out. Hmm. It's not doing anything. Maybe it needs batteries. Help me, Cliff. Tell me something. Hey, maybe you're supposed to put it somewhere. Why would they send me the probator? Probator. Probator. The probator. It doesn't take batteries. Probator. Where do I put the probator? What would Cliff do if he was probator. here? God, I don't know what I'm gonna eat right now. What the hell's a probator? What does it do anyway? God, Cliff, I need you right now. 
What do I do with the probator? Probator. Yeah, I'm calling about this item I received from you guys. The probator. Yeah, what is that exactly? Mm-hmm. Ask him about the okay. batteries. Absolutely. Well, thank you for your time. Thanks. Right. Well, I don't know. Say, how about you and me go play a little game of the hockey, huh? Two on two? You got it, buddy.